no covetous man who is an idolater, hear that? Because you're going against the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's rules and regulations, law, sets, commandments. You're dealing with some other idols of this world. Sometimes it's yourself. That I is you. Have any inheritance in the kingdom of Mashiach, Yahweh, and of the most high. Understand this. That's why Revelation 22 and 15. For without, this is without the kingdom, are dogs. You know, dog is a, a word used for the Gentiles by the Israelites because of their profaneness, probably said, probably a reference to homosexuality in the New English Bible Dictionary. And sorcerers, witches, psychics, and so forth, palm readers, you name them. And whoremongers, like he just, we just read. Those just sleeping around. No commitment. Or commit and then say it don't matter. And still sleeping around with other people. Whoremongers. Sloppy first, sloppy second, sloppy thirds, whatever. Just going from person to person to person. Whoremongers. And murderers. You that don't love your brother. You a murderer, and those that are actually murderers, murdering somebody unjustly, not in self-defense, plotting to kill somebody and kill them, murderers, and you don't know love. You don't love your brother. You a murderer and idolaters. Those that are not keeping the law, such commandments of the Most High. You idolater, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie, all you liars ain't going to the kingdom. That's without. Look at verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Don't listen to these post up eating preachers or whatever they eat. Telling you ain't under the commandments, you ain't under the laws of the Most High. Say, blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Remember the gates. You got a gate on the north, a gate on the south. Gates on, the, uh, gates on the north, gates on the south, gates on the west, and gates on the east. Three gates on the north, three gates on the south, three gates on the east, and three gates on the west. Well, each tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel is going to go through one of those gates. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, Issachar. Hey, going through them gates. You understand? So that's letting you know, hey, Mosai ain't got away. He ain't done away with his people. He ain't done away with his people. But we right here. We right here. And it's worth it to work toward your name being written in the book of life. Look at Revelation 21. Look at verse, let's start at verse 12. It had a great wall. A wall, great, excuse me. It had a wall, great and high and had 12 gates. This the this New Jerusalem coming down. Um, verse 10, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from the Most High, coming down from heaven from the Most High. So verse 12 said, and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates, as I just told you. And at the gates, 12 angels, an angel on each gate, and names written thereon, so like you, names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's why I say, the most I say, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob's name was changed to Israel. He became the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. So if you're not of the 12 tribes of Israel, you're not of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, then it's not talking about you going through them pearly gates, as y'all like to say. Hear what it said. And had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. 
on the east three gates, just like I just told you, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. That's 12 gates. See? And that means each of the tribes of Israel going to go through their own gate. Either on the north, the south, or the west, or the east. As it is written. It's beautiful. So let's look at some more. Uh, go back to Matthew, the fifth chapter. We was in um, Ephesians. I like you. Ephesians 5. So like I've been rolling a long time, so y'all bear with me. Uh, jump down to verse 14. Wherefore, he says, Awake thou that sleepeth. See? You gotta wake up, y'all. He said, Awake thou that sleepest. Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead. And Mashiach Yahweh shall give thee light. So, it's not talking about people that actually died. It's talking about you Israelites that's in a dead state of mind. He's saying, Awake thou that sleepest. Well, see, this is not. This is, this is, um, go to Romans 13 and 11. It just says, Romans 13 and 11, says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. You see? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. That's why he said it's time to awake out of sleep. Just a moment. 